it's Tao. I'm back again with another video. I just picked up the White Stone Dome glass screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This is by far the most expensive screen protector I've ever purchased, coming in at a whopping $59.99. The White Stone is highly recommended by pretty much anyone I've spoken to, and I wanted to see what the hype is all about. Okay, funny story, I accidentally bought the replacement kit which doesn't include the UV lights for curing the local glue. After browsing through some forums, it suggested that manicure UV lights would also work. Luckily, I own one and decided to give it a try rather than return and rebuy the full kit. Perks of doing your own nails, save me $25. Anyways, let's get right into my install experience. Hopefully this works. So first you want to find a flat surface. Tip, you can use a Note 9 surface leveler to double check that your workspace is completely flat. Power off the Note 9. Then use the alcohol cleaning wipes and microfiber cleaning cloth to thoroughly wipe down the foam. Next, place it into the bottom tray and ensure it's completely secure. Cover the ear speaker with a speaker masking tape and then place the top tray on top, lining up the speaker label. Insert the absorption pads into the slots on either side this will help absorb any excess glue to make cleaning down the phone easier. Using the dust removal tape, pick up dust or debris that's still on the phone. Next up, grab the pin and put it into the top part of the tray. Grab the bridge and place it into position. Take the tube of adhesive, open the colored cap and place it in the middle round hole of the bridge. All right, so once it's in place, simply unscrew the bottom cap and the glue will release onto the foam. The instruction states to give it 30 seconds to empty. Now, once all the glue is out, remove the bridge with the empty glue container. Now you can grab your screen protector. Remove the glue sticker and place it starting from the bottom into place and rest it on top of the pin. Make sure to add no pressure. Okay, so I almost messed up this next part. Gently press down on the bottom part of the tray to allow the glue to move towards the center of the foam. Once it's at the center, let go and pull the pin out at the same time. Once it's spread, grab the UV light and cure 15 seconds for the top and 15 seconds for the bottom for the primary curing process. Now you can remove foam from the tray and wipe it down of any excess glue. Once clean, grab the UV light again and cure both the top and bottom for another 60 seconds each. And you are finished! Mine actually turned out pretty good. There is a tiny air bubble in the right corner, but I'm gonna learn to live with it because I'm definitely not going to buy another one. I have the Winky case collection for the Note 9 on hand, so I'll do a quick case compatibility test for you all. As you can see, the white dome screen protector is compatible with all the Rinky phone cases. None of them cause the screen protector to lift off. So if you're on the fence and own a Rinky phone case, don't worry about it. Fast forward, I've had the screen protector on now for about two days and it's still in perfect condition. My one gripe is that it collects dust around the edges of the screen protector. I'm not sure if it's tempered glass or the glue, but it seems to attract way more dust than normal. I've been wiping it down with alcohol wipes pretty much daily. Overall, I think it's a very good screen protector, and by the looks of it, the best tempered glass screen protector you can buy at the moment. It's definitely pricey, but I think the tools and instructions provided were well thought out, which made the installation process very user friendly. For some, the peace of mind is worth the money. I'll have the screen protector links below in case you're interested. It gets two thumbs up from me. I highly recommend it if you can swallow the hefty price tag. 
Are you on Team Screen Protector or no? Is there an alternative that you're using that you'd recommend? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you found this video useful and until the next one, peace. Bye!